on things. Everything from Battle.net, of course, which we're not talking about yet today, um, but also single player has been one of our main focuses. It was in a decent spot at that point, but there was a whole lot of things we were still trying to figure out. And we really feel like we've got those things figured out now. And with StarCraft II single player, we really wanted to tell the story in sort of an evolutionary step forward from where we were. We look at it stepping in our RTS games from what you experienced in StarCraft, which was you know basically dialogue reading down a page with some portraits that popped up and talked to you, to Warcraft 3 where you saw some of the story told through in-game cutscenes on the mission levels with small units, um, and then to this new step, which is StarCraft 2, where you get to actually see the characters up close, personal, see the worlds and environments they're in, in between missions basically, and discover as much or as little about the story as you want. Choice in general, we feel like, gives that more replayability. It gives to me, one of the main key focus points is you and I can have a different conversation about how we played through it. And, you know, that really wasn't possible. Maybe a little bit in, oh, I used this unit specifically. Now it, it's a little bit broader. It's a more interesting story that we, that conversation we have is more interesting. You know, I actually, oh, I didn't even get that unit or I didn't upgrade those units at all. Um, so the idea was to just put more power into making your solutions and your, your way through a more compelling experience. I think from my perspective what I hope comes through the most is that players do feel that getting up close and personal and experiencing that sto the story as much as they want or as little as they want is a better way to play the game. I mean there wasn't a choice before, it was just a linear playthrough in our previous games, StarCraft and WarCraft 3. But in StarCraft 2 that you, you kind of set the pace to your, yourself and you can see all those little nuances. Why? Where did Raynor come from originally? And we couldn't tell that story before um, without, I mean, most of the time it was told through scrolling text in, as an intro to a mission, and we had to be very specific on what we could say. Now there's a lot more you can click on, all those things, and I hope that that's just a more compelling experience for players. So in closing, I just want to say we're really excited for players to come to BlizzCon, see it live, go up on game trailers, check it out, go on DirecTV, watch it. We have some really exciting news with StarCraft 2 and all of our games that are coming out at BlizzCon in addition to the single player stuff that we're seeing here today.